so now that we have our lead ad form let's look at how we can get started with the listing page for our leads okay so inside our web.php we'll create a new route can be leads not list okay. and in this I'll have index method so let's create that index method okay and in that what I will do is um, if, if we look at the database right now our branch ID is hard coded to one right so we'll create a query leads equals okay where let's say branch id is one this is hard coded right now so that we are making sure that all the leads are always coming for that particular branch and nothing else later on when we get the branch and user relationships what we will do is we will take it from the user object okay so this is there so we have our where condition we have order by descending id and we will do a paginate okay um let's for now why don't we do one thing we will do a get okay later on we will look at pagination now very similar to how we have done the create page right we will need one more view component so inside resources js pages lead we will have index.view now let's get the basic boilerplate we have template I'll need the layout okay and in here why don't we pick up something which is very similar to the dashboard so okay this is done and here what we are saying is this page will have an index okay and we will expect props leads so once that is done we created a leads slash list page so we'll go there okay and I think I'm not doing a node watch npm run watch so that is necessary hence my page was not visible let me do that okay that is done now I should get something here right and index.view this is dashboard I don't need this one this is which is of interest to me okay so first things first we'll need to show the title and we'll have one more row where we'll show a table with the data okay we have for now four rows so we should be able to show four rows in here so i'll get the basic markup done first and then i'll come back okay so i have my basic template here so i have my tr and then th i have id name email phone number dob package and added on then i have this empty trtd okay so if we look at our component here okay we should okay we haven't uh, passed that to our component so inside our controller leads 
will be dollar leaves okay if i pass this and hit refresh i'll get the object right individual objects will be visible to me so i can now iterate through them inside my view file so v4 this is like a 4h in php if you want to dig deep i would recommend you looking at my other few js tutorials or you know going through the documentation as well okay lead so now initially i'm sending it as leads right so we'll get leads and i'll pass a key this is important for you know, the binding so i'll have lead.id which i can bind with and now first thing is lead dot id then we will have name lead dot email is it phone or phone number let's look at our column it's phone so that's done then we have So DB uh, DOB is done. Then I'll have lead dot. This is package name, right? Interested underscore package. So interested underscore package. This is fine. Lead dot created at with this done i think we should be able to see the data okay i just need to put maybe background bg white if i'm not wrong let's see this is my table bg white yeah that should do the trick so with that we have our you know, listing in place we will be showing all the data in here but then the next thing is how do we get a pagination okay the package is not coming what happened to that interested package why don't i copy the entire thing hmm. in here seems to be fine I don't know what happened refresh my net seems to be a little slow it's loading slowly quite slowly actually anyways so we have the data for all the users who are visible so that's that mm, we need to also get this listing page in the navigation so that the users can quickly go to this page so let's handle that as well inside layout.view we have this ul why don't we copy this and this is our next so this is our drop down so nav item let's just say this is leads okay change that and then we have leads okay why don't we call this manage in manage we have leads okay and this cannot be an a tag otherwise you'll have a page refresh so we'll change that to an inertia link which says leads href will be this and i need a class called drop down item 
get rid of this hit save and let's see so I have manage inside manage I have leads which goes to page 404 that's interesting now okay so I think this is working I go to dashboard I go to leads and yeah I get the SPA feel because of inertia JS because I can see that the page is not reloading entirely right I go to dashboard and I then go to leads so that portion is taken care of and I'm also getting the listing the next thing which we need to handle is how do we paginate because right now we have just done the entire data which is not possible we will have to do a pagination so in the next video we will handle how to tackle the pagination along with inertia.js